Welcome back. I'm Tia Turnbull, your Champion of Champions. This is Keep It 100, and right now you are learning proactive in the four quadrants. So, in the last video, we talked about the autobiography of five chapters where you back up and back up and back up so you can see what's going to happen ahead of time and make some choices ahead of time. All right, so these four quadrants are going to help you to be proactive in your life. Proactive means making a choice ahead of time, to be proactive. You don't just jump in and take a reactive um, action on something and then end up wherever you happen to end up. You actually think about it ahead of time, do something ahead of time so you don't end up in a crisis. All right, so um, I'll say more about being proactive, but this is the four quadrants is the framework that you use to step back and look at your life and make some choices about when you want to do something. This, these four quadrants are from Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And the first habit of highly effective people, people who, want to, who actually get where they want to get in their lives, is to be proactive. Um, remember I had already shared with you about, I think it was uh, number nine, about moving from dependency, which we're all in, to independence, to interdependence. And then there's that little codependent thing over on the side. Well, this is the first stage of working on yourself to be proactive in your life when you're moving from dependency to independence to interdependence. So this is the four quadrants of importance and urgency. Okay, so Whenever I get overwhelmed in my life, and I feel like I've got all this stuff, you know how you got, you got to do the laundry, and you got to take the kids somewhere, and you got to go to work, and you got to have this conversation with somebody, and you got to have a meeting, and all these things, and they're all kind of hanging out in the air, or things you want to work on, or things you want to focus on in yourself, things you want to do moving forward in your life. And they just all seem to be hanging out there, sitting on your shoulders, saying, you know, pick me, pick me. Well, what this four quadrants does is it helps you to step back and look at your life and all the things you need to do, okay? So we're going to label the first quadrant important and urgent. And the second quadrant important and not urgent. The third quadrant is urgent but not important. And of course, the fourth quadrant is not important and not urgent. Okay, so this is how you schedule life based on importance and urgency so you can stay on purpose to do what you want to do with your life. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to make a list. So let's see if you can see this. Yes. So you'll make a list of all the things you're going to be doing between now and next week. And you just set it there, right? Write down, you know, you're, you've got to buy groceries. You've got to pick up the kids. You've got to, um, I don't know, call your aunt. You've got to, whatever. Just everything you're going to be doing between now and next week. You just make a list, right? At any given time, you can just do this. Grab a piece of paper, put four squares on it, label them, and put all your things that you need to do in it. Okay? Now, a bigger thing that Stephen Covey teaches is you have roles. The roles in your life are, I'm a sister, I'm a brother, I'm an employee, I'm a boss, I'm a husband, I'm a wife, I'm a friend. All these roles that you have in your life. You know, a, a cousin, a relative, um, <clears throat> a uh, community member, uh, you sit on the board of something, all right? So these are the roles you play. And within each of those roles, as employee, wife, mother, you know, then you have these goals in each of those roles, things that you need to do. You need to send a card to somebody. You need to uh, bake a cake. You need to um, have time with your spouse or your significant other. So you have all these goals that, and you actually make this up, like, what's one thing I could do to be a better employee? 
What's one thing I could do to be a better boss? What's one thing I could do to be a better business person? What's one thing I can do to be a better sister? What's one thing I can do to be a better friend? And then you write those things down. And then you can take that and you can take your weekly things at any given time or monthly or six months out or a year out or 10 years out, we did our future life visualization, right? So in order to live that life that you saw in the future, there's things that you will be doing daily to have that come about. Because you already are that person, you see you're already that person, and that person does different things than the person did you know, a year ago. So you're gonna be inputting those things you need to do to get yourself where you wanna go into these four quadrants at any given time. All right, so, I'll tell you what these quadrants are. So important and urgent, this quadrant is crisis. Quadrant number one is the quadrant of crisis. There are things that are playing on you. There's things that are on your back. That, you know, you gotta pay that electric bill or it's gonna get shut off. You gotta get toilet paper or you're not gonna have any. You gotta, you know, something as small as that can actually become a crisis. So if you're not taking care of the things that are crises, then things start to fall apart. If you never spend time with your spouse, they're might be leaving you one day and you're like, well, what happened? Well, you didn't give it any attention. You didn't focus your attention and put any effort into it. If you don't give your attention to it, it falls away. So you have to put your energy and your attention in whatever it is you want to keep in your life. The things you love, you have to give your energy and attention to. And then take that energy and attention away from the things that don't matter to you. If you want your life to go where you want to go, there's going to be things that are important for you to do in order to be the person that you want to be and have and do the things you want to do. So you get to decide what's important. No one else gets to say that for you. So you make your list of things that are important to you. And so quadrant number two is the proactive quadrant. Why? Because in quadrant number one, things are saying you have to do this now. It's your circumstances playing upon you. In quadrant number two, you are the master of your circumstance. You decide. You are proactive. You proactively say, look, I'm not going to wait until my spouse says, you better spend some time with me or I'm leaving. I'm going to put my focus and attention and energy on that ahead of time. Not when I have to, but because I want to, because this is something I'm choosing in my life. And there's other things. Maybe you want to write a book. Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want to um, play with your children or have a better relationship with someone. Or go to the park or work out or take a nap or meditate. These are things that you have to decide for yourself or all the other things are going to take those things away from you. So you make your list. And then you decide, this is important to me. And I'm going to put all those things that are important to me, but they're not crises, in quadrant number two. Now, urgent and not important. These are things that are not important to you. They're not on your important list. They may be taking care of somebody else's something crisis. Maybe somebody else has a crisis and says, oh, I didn't handle this. I need your help. Well, is it on your list? Is it important to you? I know sometimes you want to help people, especially if that relationship is important to you, but it, if it turns out that other people are always in crisis and they're asking you to do things for them, while you're spending time down here in things that are not important for you in your life, it's pulling you away from the time you could be spending here. And if you're spending time, a lot of time here, when you could be spending time getting your own stuff done, then your stuff is going to end up in crisis. So you've got to think about where you're spending time. So all these things that, that are playing upon you that someone else wants you to do or that really aren't important to you. There are little things that you're wasting time with that, that, that um, somebody else wants you to do for them, but they're not important to you. Okay, now the last one, not important, not urgent. These are things that you're, yeah, you're wasting time. They're not important to you. And, and they're not even urgent. They're just things that you're kind of like, well, how can I fill my time? I don't have anything to do. Maybe I'll just watch some TV. And, and what you watch, it's not, you're not learning anything. It's not good for you. You don't even feel good. You're watching people get killed and you're watching um, violence or you're watching things that just don't add anything to your life. You're not learning anything. You're not growing yourself. 
you're really just wasting time. Or you're doing things that are actually detrimental to yourself, like getting drunk or uh, smoking cigarettes or things that are breaking your body down or eating unhealthy food that, that doesn't do anything for you, doesn't give you any energy and it just weighs you down and makes you sit there. Well, just think of all the things you could do if you actually had the energy because you weren't pushing yourself down with things that are pulling you down. Even sitting around um, thinking negative thoughts or gossiping about somebody or thinking, you know, talking to someone about negative things that pulls you down, it pulls your energy down. And remember uh, in, the, in the wake why the now is so powerful and what moves you through is the present moment energy generated. So if you're doing things that are pushing down on your energy like thinking negatively or hanging out with people who treat you bad or anything that pulls your energy down, you're not going to have the power to get to where you want to go in your life. So the key to this whole four quadrants is to spend time in quadrant number two the proactive quadrant. Why? And how? So spending time here means you're ticking off the things that you want to get done. You're ticking off the things that are important to you, that have purpose for you, that are moving your life forward, even though you don't have to. Okay? So the key to this is, if you have anything over here in crisis, you know, you don't have a choice. You've got to get that done. Take care of your crises right away. So, you know, within the, when you write down all your things within the next week, if anything shows up in crisis, get it done. Just get it done. Don't waste your time spending time here or doing things for other people. Get your crises done. That's very important. Very important for you. It's important and it's urgent. Get it done. All right, now look. Once you check these off and this is empty, don't go spend time down here and down here yet. You're not done yet. You still have to spend time in quadrant number two and you start taking your own things off because this is the quadrant that moves your life forward. This quadrant, it gets you so you're not, crisis will wear you out and drag you down and just make you feel like life is hard. You're always in a crisis, right? But a lot of times the people who end up in a crisis is because they spend a lot of time down in here, right? So in order to not be in crisis yourself, you have to say no to quadrant number three when other people are trying to get you to do something that doesn't really matter to you. And you have to say no to just time-wasting activities or activities that just drain your energy and push your life down and take away that present moment positivity that you need in order to move forward in your life. Right? Listen to something that's going to lift you up. Watch something that's going to make you feel good about yourself and make you feel confident to go do those things you want to do and be that person and have those things that you feel worthy and you feel good and you feel like, like listening to the fact that you are the universe happening right now. Well, then you're connected with everything in the universe. That's a good thing to know. To let go of those ideas that Oh, I'm not good enough. I never had this before. Remember growth mindset. We haven't done that yet, but it's about a yet. It's about a yet. You haven't done it yet, right? And this is the quadrant that you do all those things you haven't done yet that are going to move you forward to that being, doing, and having everything you want in your life. So you say no here. You say no here. You tick these off. La -da! And you get to spend time over here. And when you're doing it, you're like, oh my God, life feels good. It's like, I bought toilet paper last week and I didn't even need it. We got plenty of it. I don't have to worry about a crisis happening because I already took care of it. I already took care of everything that was important. So now I can focus on what I want to do and I have the space to focus on what I want to do. And it feels good. I, it's not like I, I'm, I stop doing something else that's more important in order to do this. No, I'm doing the things that are important to me and I'm not in crisis mode. So I have the time to think, I have the time to contemplate, I have the time to be creative and generative and focus on what I love and enjoy the process. And I know that I did it because I chose ahead of time to do it. Not because I had to do it, but because I chose to do it. I wanted to do it. And you can actually spend your life in this quadrant. And we're going to talk more about request, reply, and, and keeping yourself in this quadrant regardless of other circumstances. You have to be someone who can learn how to say no. 
You have to be able to say no. You have to be able to say no to your time-wasting self, and you have to be able to say no to other people who waste your time. So that is Proactive Four Quadrants. I am Tia Turnbull, your champion of champions. This is Keep It 100. Thank you for joining me today and champion yourself to be a champion. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell if you'd like to be notified of more videos.